you seem like somebody to me who is definitely not after like you're not trying to be safe. You're not trying to feel safe. You're trying to grow. Grow. I mean, it seems to me like do, you almost like to scare yourself sometimes. I, do. I literally purposely I went on this journey. I've been on a huge journey of just self, sexual shame. I'm the basis of it, the most basic way I can put it is it's a journey of shedding my fears because sexual shame is fear. Mm-hmm. And I was just kind of going through my list of fears, some silly, some not, some absolutely ridiculous. But I mean, I just really set out on this on this journey just to face my fears because I was so scared for so long and I just get, I let myself get all wrapped up in the needs and wants and opinions of other people and... I just really realized, like, fuck, it's not going to kill me. And if I do, I'm dying eventually anyway. Mm-hmm. So I remember I I, I, I swam with sharks, um, like, I think it was six, seven months ago because that was one of my biggest, biggest, biggest fears was sharks. They just scared the fucking shit out of me. And I literally peed my pants. Like, like literally, the water changed. Like, it was just... I was say, got you warmer. Can, you can your pants in the ocean. It's actually yeah. okay. It keeps you warm. I felt so embarrassed. Like I was like, I don't, I don't know. think anybody knew. Um, they definitely. I the person I was with definitely knew, and they were laughing their ass off. But it's fine, you know, whatever. <laughs> what kind of sharks were they? <laughs> they. I was in Bora Bora, and they were totally harmless. So I feel even more ridiculous for the fact that I peed my pants. But we got to swim with them, like without a cage. Um, and some, were they like reef sharks? I think they were reef sharks. I asked as little questions as I could about them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if I know too much, I might back out. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was just such an incredible experience. And I feel like pushing yourself and diving into your fears creates this like it opens other channels in your life mm-hmm. because suddenly there's so many more possibilities because you don't have this fear holding you back and you feel right. empowered as a person. Yeah. You feel like you can take on more so you can do more, you yeah. can accomplish more, yeah. which I fucking love. So, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fears are definitely, that's the one thing that's going to hold you back. Yeah. You know, and it's definitely a prison living in your, I mean, anybody with some kind of debilitating phobia like agoraphobia can tell you that. And, um, I mean, the two, it's interesting that you talk about fear so much because, you know, the two basic drives behind, um, human behavior is sex and fear. Exactly. And I feel like you're really exploring both of those things and you're kind of intermingling them as well because you're also, you're not exploring, you're not only exploring sex and fear, but you're exploring fear of sex. You're so insightful, Holly. Uh, oh my shucks. God. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> You're doing amazing. <laughs> like, wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful insight. And to tell you the truth, I really never thought about it that, like that. But you're absolutely right. I am doing that. I'm trying to get to the core of who I am as a person, and I'm trying to build this motherfucker right here. Like, who I am, I'm trying mm-hmm. to build her. I don't know if you are familiar with Tony Robbins, but I absolutely adore that man, and he is a huge inspiration. He really just started at rock bottom, you know, not having anything, mm-hmm. not being the kind of person he wanted to be at all. I think he had a little bit of dr- trouble with drugs, which I am familiar with because I, I am two and a half years sober. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's fucking awesome. Not including weed, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, everybody's got their own their own thing. Yeah. And yeah. he built the person that he is. And mm-hmm. he like bangs on his chest and he goes, I built this motherfucker right here. Yeah. And I just really – I really – I think that's amazing. Like, you don't just get to end up, you know, Mm -hmm. like these people that make it and have all this money or have all this success, they don't just end up that way. I mean, Mm -hmm. some of them, fuck them, but some of them do. Yeah, some of them are like trust fund babies. Yeah. It's funny, then they always seem to find some way to self-destruct. Exactly, they do. It's like we, we all need to go through that breaking point in order to, like, come out on the other side. Like, yeah. Like, life is never just a straight and narrow, a straight path. Exactly, and a lot of us put it off until we can't take it anymore, and then we have a midlife crisis, and mm-hmm. all this stuff starts happening, and we've just, it all comes up. Yeah. I'm just really trying to avoid that. <laughs> I just want to get a head start. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be bad if I don't. <laughs> I feel it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.